Okay, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news first. It is completely possible in this video will explain you how to have a passive income stream from your art. So that's pretty good news. The bad news is that it's gonna take some time and some effort to kind of set it up. It has everything to do with Redbubble. And in this video, we're gonna go over the pros of Redbubble, selling your art on Redbubble and the cons. The first pro is actually very obvious. There's no cost involved. There's no upfront cost, no overhead cost. It's completely free. There is no risk. And on top of that, they do everything for you. They do everything for you. The website, the maintenance of the website, the sales aspect, the customer service, the packaging, the shipping, the like advertisement. The brand, they just everything, they do everything for you. And this is a huge win. Why? Because most artists who start a print on demand journey, they don't know anything of those aspects. They don't know customer service. They don't know advertisement. They don't know how to drive traffic. They don't know anything about packaging. Or, they don't know anything. If you don't know anything and you have to learn all of those things, you are nearly doomed to fail. There's less than 1% success rate in those endeavors. And so this is a huge pro. Let's go to the second one. The second pro is also huge. You don't have to do any product research. In the world of print on demand, in the world of e-commerce, where you sell products, whether it's drop shipping or your own artwork, whatever. In that world, one of the most important aspects of your business is the product itself. If you have an amazing product that is in demand that people want and you do everything else wrong, you will still make money. If you don't have the right product, it's a product that nobody wants and you do everything else right, your business will never be success. Will never be a success. And so, so this is huge. If you don't have any experience with that, having professionals doing that for you, for example, with Redbubble, is a huge advantage. It's a huge advantage. The third thing that's very positive, the third pro is that it is a passive income. That it is completely passive. Now, what do I mean with completely passive? What I mean with that is that you have, first of all, commercial art, pattern designs, or seascape, landscape type of stuff, or meme-like, funny smart, clever designs that, that can play on that impulsive buying type of psychology or trends, like trends within the culture of Redbubble or global trends. And so, so you will, you really need those types of artworks. And then on top of that, you really need a strong SEO game because that's the only way that you can drive traffic within the platform Redbubble towers your designs. And so, Passive, yes, but an upfront investment in time through that SEO game and perhaps potentially a sole investment. Because if you're a contemporary artist, let's face it, you don't really want to go that commercial route necessarily. And so that's for a lot of artists is going to be a mindset, mindset shift. Now, if you hear, if you hear all these positive things, then you might think like, why is nobody on, on, on Redbubble? Why is, is, is not every artist flooding that with designs? It's because there are a lot of drawbacks as well. There are a lot of cons and some of them are really, really negative. So let's dive into those as well. First con, they do everything for you. It's also a pro, but it's also a con. Why? Because you cannot customize anything. And if you know anything about e-commerce, customizing your packaging, your shit, like, like that matters. That's part of the branding. And so you can really make a difference there. You can really connect with the customer there. But on Redbubble, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. It will be shipped in a Redbubble packaging. That is, by the way, branding Redbubble, not you as an artist. And, and that's it. You cannot put a handwritten note in there or anything like that. And so that's, that's a call. The second one is that it's not integratable with any part of your current business that already exists. If you have a website, a, a WordPress website, and you have a WooCommerce section where people can buy stuff, you cannot integrate Redbubble with WooCommerce. You cannot integrate Redbubble with Etsy. You cannot integrate Etsy with, with Shopify, with, with Amazon, with any of those, those platforms. And so, so that's a real problem. Whatever you are using right now to, to run your business, you cannot integrate it with it. And so there is already there not really a long-term strategy going on because you don't want to drive traffic to to several platforms you want to drive traffic one place which is your website ideally and, and that's it 
So this is a real, this is actually not really that much of a small con. I said it's small con. No, it's actually a pretty big con. So the third con is that Redbubble doesn't own any of their manufacturing in-house. Which means that they have to pay extra money every time they print something in a, in, in a manufacturer outside of their company, obviously. And so part of the profit goes to those places, which means that you can take less profit margin, which means that the product inevitably, whether you take a lot of profit margin or not a lot of profit margin, will be fairly expensive for the customer. And so you will not have a competitive market advantage there. And so this is, this is bad if, first of all, you want to drive your own traffic because then you want to have some kind of profit margin at least. And, and it's just, it's just in the long run, not really a system that you have to, um, go for. Now, if you're completely new to the whole selling art online type of stuff, print on demand, whatever, and you're still watching, then you're clearly interested and perhaps you should just Subscribe in that case, you know, subscribe in that case. Why not? Anyway, what I would recommend now is watch another video on selling art online, how to sell art on Instagram. A lot of the principles there will be applicable in whatever you're going to do in that online game. And I hope to see you again sometime, you know. Ciao, ciao.